Okay, my first actual tutorial on Cubase is um, certainly not a new one. It's been covered probably many times before, but surprisingly there are still people that maybe don't know how to do it. And I must admit, even when I came on to Cubase 7, uh, bearing in mind it's slightly different from uh, Cubase 5 and possibly Cubase 6. I didn't really use Cubase 6 too much. Um, but yeah, the big difference from Cubase 5 to 7 was a big, a little difference. I couldn't use it anyway. So... Um, what we need to do for sidechain compression, firstly sidechain compression if you don't know what it is why the hell are you on this video, no really all it is it's, um, it's a compressor which is squashing down the audio um, which is triggered by something so in this case we could trigger it by a kick or a snare or a vocal or anything else and, and that trigger then compresses the sound so the kick comes in um, it compresses the audio temporarily, squashes it down, and um, it's popular in, say, house music. It can create the the ducking in volume that people get. So, wah, that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to do that anyway, but um, it's right. Okay, so, so I've got my chords up the top there through silence, and here we are down here. So, compressor, let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got it on there already. So, I've just used the standard compressor within um, Cubase, sorry. And all we need to do really is for now is to activate sidechain. That's the all important bit. Uh, without going into too much detail, I'm not really one for detail. Uh, let's just turn up the ratio there. The ratio is, is pretty much how hard the compression is. So, when the ratio is as it is now, which is on um, 8, it's a very hard compression and the threshold is at what point, at what volume does the compression start. So if you turn it down there um, it will compress the mouse's far. Anything that comes through is going to try and squash it. If it's up there it will take a bit more volume to actually activate the sidechain. So let's just leave it where it was for now around there and the release um, pretty much holds the compression so with very little or no release on there the compression will back off really quickly um, as soon as the trigger uh, in our case which is going to be a kick so that's only a short noise uh, the kick will come in boom and then as soon as that stops with no release on there or very low release the compression will just lift off and the sound will return back to its normal volume again. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that around 100. Um, you can tweak that for the individual song and tempo and all that kind of stuff. Blah blah blah. Right okay so now what we need to do is go to audio 1 and go to the sends. So now we're going to send the signal from the kick and it says no bus. Why does it say no bus? Right, okay, yeah, that was the thing before, was I used to just click here, and I just did it then, instinctively, coming from Cubase 5 for so long. I used to click on here, and then it would come up with a list of, sorry, the mouse just slipped, it come up with a list of the the places where you can send it to. Uh, now we have to press this button over here, so select destination, so at least it tells us what we're doing now. So in this case, we can send it to the stereo out, um, but also sidechain uh, silent has come up there so that's the thing that we activated earlier um, sometimes this doesn't come up so there's it's either turned off or there's no volume there so when it's like that um, or turned off it won't work it won't make any difference so activate send oh, normally it would be like that so we're going to activate the send we're going to turn it on and then you bring up the volume in, in this case we're going to put it up to zero that's where I have it so nice and easy that will do nicely. I'm not that fast. Okay, so now we have the chords. And we're going to put in the kick drum now. Here we go. So just in case that's not coming through too well, which I'm pretty sure it should do. Oh, you can hear it there. So you can see the the compression coming in, just squashing that down, and it gives you that ducking, ducking feeling. Oh, ducky! All right. All right. Let's just do that. Let's get a bit more of a oh, sugar. So yeah, you can hear the duck in there. Uh, if we were going to go for more of a four beat. Go, you can hear it 
bouncing around there. Um, so that's pretty much it. There's there's no point in um, in waffling too much. Uh, I hope I've explained it well enough. Um, and like I say, this is this is more for people that maybe know a bit about general music production, but are just returning to Cubase. I, I'm not so interested in doing like complete explanation things. So that's just a little how-to really. That's me. How do I stop it? <laughs>